to do music for awards right. you know i don't i'm not a kind of artist that makes music and start chasing for awards mm. you know so yeah uh, i just focus on creating very important works and putting my heart and soul in it and learning too from whether it's a new artist an unsigned artist or an established artist i mean i'm a i'm a constantly studying mm. and so when i come to ghana even you know i will look for even the upcoming artists you know to try and learn from them because right. they are teaching me as i'm teaching them mm. although i might have a lot of insight but they can teach me something about you know just the freshness right. of per perceiving that i'm right. a little jaded because mm. i've been right. through all of right. that right. you know so sometimes you know so so the thing is that it does not matter where you are mm. in your career your ability to uh, make incredible works your ability to aspire to higher heights, mm. you know, but the industry is about hype and standards mm. You know, even we have Ghana music awards, right. you know, we have uh, what's it called uh, a Freema, mm. You know all of this mm. stuff But the Grammys for a long time when it comes to music if they, there's an award that you can go to every country Regardless of what awards they have it's respected across the mm. board when you go there and they know you're Grammy nominated, you are put in a certain right. level. It doesn't matter right. because it re it reflects uh, the excellence. you know excellence excellent you know and and and, and, and uh, uh, unfortunately or fortunately, uh, American music and American music industry has powered the global music industry. Right. You know everybody wanted to be successful in America mm -hmm. from the biggest stars outside from Bob Marley. Everybody was working very hard so they can get success in America mm -hmm. because success in America was seen as the gold standard of global success. Right. You know so uh, you know Mugis has you know Mugis has his own view and you know and he's entitled to his opinion. Mm -hmm. You know but the the reality is that this is this is something that we didn't put there. Mm -hmm. You know, and not every even artists who are there put it. It's a standard that has been put there, and the standard you know has music from different parts of the world, you know, and these are voted on by, um, you know, music aficionados and mm -hmm. experts who are experts in so many different kinds of music who worked in so many different great records right. or from promotions people to mm -hmm. music producers mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. so it's not like some. Uh, some one tribe of people right. who are there doing that. There's mm. about over 20,000 people uh, voting members, mm. you know, who are there, the blacks, mm. Africans, you know, Asians, mm. you know, everybody who's there and, 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 and helping to put those. So the thing is that for me, when I was nominated, I didn't expect it. Right. You know, I just worked hard and I just did a record that I felt that was groundbreaking. Uh, you know, and the record took off, started really you know, creating attention everywhere. There was a tour around mm -hmm. it. I toured, you know, uh, you know, the video was circulated everywhere. People, you know, even critics and stuff started agreeing that it had pushed the boundaries of reggae music. And so for an African who usually is very hard for you to get nominated in that category, you know, all of a sudden mm -hmm. I get nominated in that category because the music and the album at that time was stood you know was seen as something that had that kind of capacity and ability right. and Perception. overwhelmingly all these people individually in their homes the people don't sit down and discuss people are voting individually in their places right. so if the votes are tallied and you are there that means that there's a there's an overall consensus of agreement mm. that this is quality that this is quality but other people are lucky because you know when it's reggae everybody like a jamaican artist or where you have named people gravitate towards you but we had to fight extra hard so we, our nomination was other than anybody else who was there who was nominated mm. because theirs was like a shoe in right, for them right. ours we had to fight for it and be worthy of it you know which so was a win which, which, was, which was a win yeah. on this, no the grammy nomination is a win that's right. what you're always told right. you know right. so so the, the the thing is that although we might say you know, if you're in music, it's yard. You know, when history looks back, there's certain things that you do. You can be, uh, and 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 also just to see the counterpoint mm -hmm. to where where Mugis uh, said, which I agree, mm -hmm. is that um, the thing is that Grammy should not be the yardstick for judging our music. And so Grammy African music. Yeah, no, 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 well, no, 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 no. Right. It should not be the the yardstick for judging music. Oh, right. Okay. But it is also a yardstick for uh, to be able to. Um, Acknowledge the the great 
uh, works of art that happen within a certain generation. So you are right. able to put right. it in a historical context. Right. But you can imagine artists like Fela, Bob Marley were never right. nominated it, yeah. ever. Right. You know, and yeah. that kind of stuff. But through the works that they did, the works grew. You know, they're they're Grammy worthy, but they were never nominated. Right. But they grew. So it's not because you you don't get nominated or you know that doesn't diminish your ability or what you are doing. Mm. And that kind of stuff. All being nominated makes me. Uh, better draw. than any right. Ghanaian right. artist and that kind of stuff. No, 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 no. I've never, even when I was nominated, even people who can Google the Grammy, the statement I made on the red carpet when they asked me, I told them that the, the, my nomination was um, a testament to all the great artists that I learned from, right. you know, upon whose footsteps I learned from the Ampedus and all of those Ghanaian uh, legends right. whose music when I was a child I was learning right. cutting my my chops right. and all of that kind of stuff the, 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 the tribute was to them because that was where I learned from and acquired a lot of it uh, different ideas and moved forward so it's not a nomination that is self-serving right. for me right. it's a nomination for all of us it's open the door other people can go get more nomination. Other people can go and win, mm. and all of that is open. Right. But the only thing that people have known that we've opened the door, mm. and that's a mm. very important thing. Right.